Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a day for a twist out using L'Oreal hair chalk and baby bronze. It was hard to capture all the color on video on camera, but it showed up pretty good. I'm very pleased with it and I do plan on using it again. I might uh, still apply it more heavily. It is a better time. comparison because you can see the part that I didn't color it out and it looks really black. This helps out a lot. Now you see the difference. The black hair. It is black. My hair is pitch black. Then you see it's lighter, and then like the little highlights. Hi guys, I'm back. I end up co-washing my hair. A lot of the color came out when I co-washed. And then I used the protein treatment right here. Uh, the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask. And once I rinsed that out, uh, much more of the color came out. But where I applied it very heavily and went over it a few times, like some little bronzy like streaks, some of those are still present. But I'll see how it looks once it dries. A new product that I'm trying <clears throat> is the Can to Wave Look Curling Mousse. I think this will be really good for flexi rise sets and roller sets, but I want to try it for a wash and go. My leave in that I use is my favorite leave in. From the Can to line that for natural hair, some moisturizing curl activated cream. So I just apply that all through my hair and I just squeeze it dry with the towel before I apply it so it won't be soaking wet. And it says that the mousse creates uh, crunch free, touchable waves and curls for frizz free and full of volume style. So that's what I'm looking for, you know, more volume. And it says to apply to wet hair, then scrunch hair up, restore the scalp, hold and release, and allow to air dry or diffuse. And I'm going to let it, <clears throat> try to let it air dry. I'm going to go ahead and part my sections. Looks like I still see some color, but it's fine. I didn't shampoo my hair, so let's see how this goes. Good, like can too for the first time using this. I'll be back once I turn my gel to my hairline. My equals time gel. Back. <clears throat> I use a generous amount. Still got a good bit left. I'm generous as in. Three pumps on smaller sections and four pumps on larger sections. This is it. Yeah, hair clamps for my own hairline that I gel down. I put mousse on it too, and my hair pulled it a lot better as well. Typically, with the wash and go, my hair dries in two hours and my roots <coughs> dries in four. So I'll be back with my hair all dry with the results. Hey guys, I'm back. My hair is dry. And something that I do when I do my wash and goes, when my scalp is still a little damp, I pineapple it. So I'll let it either air dry that way, get up scratches some, or I dry my roots on the dryer. And so, these are the results. My hair is not as shiny as it normally is. It doesn't look dull, but it's not shiny, especially for first day hair. My hair is full. It's quite full. I didn't have to like, um like fluff it out or anything it was already cool and let's see what it says that it does it says crunch free it did give me crunch free touchable waves it's soft very soft frizz free 
um, curls and it gives you volume. <clears throat> so I have a volume. It is it's a little bit of frizz right here, but probably for me touching on. I feel like if I touch my hair a lot, I were to fluff, do a lot of fluffing, frizz will come a lot easier, a lot quicker. But I am satisfied with the, the with the results. I'm looking forward to try this mousse with the uh, with the wash with the um a rise set and a roller set. Jay, don't do that. You wanna say hi? You little nasty man. Hey. His hair is dry and it's wet. I did hey. finish about thirty minutes ago. So hey, <clears throat> hey, I say, say thank you, Jay. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You can't wait. Here's day two of the can to um mousse. Like I said yesterday, well, it didn't give me shine at all whatsoever. It's not dull, but it give me a shine. But it's big and fluffy, so here's the wash and go. Day two.